Nicole the Pole here at the Black Girls Pole Showcase here in New York at Body and Pole. I have some of the most amazing aerial artists. I have some of the most amazing male aerial artists they came to perform tonight they were our featured guest performers guys tell me how you guys started out pole dancing on the subways it started from just dancing off the poles uh -huh. we wanted to take it to the next level because it got boring to us and boring to people on the train now when you guys started pole dancing did you guys ever like think like you know this is what women do at first it was like okay that's a girl sport uh, we wanted to f perform and give people a show with everything around the train and the train just happened to have a pole so we was just like hey it's just pole dance. Uh, I founded Body and Pole with Leanne Tall in 2010. We just felt the need that there needed to be a boutique studio that had 90 minute classes that had small only you know 12 to 14 students and had intro level all the way up to professional level and now it's grown into our behemoth space of 10,000 square feet in Manhattan has 250 classes a week. Um, it's pole and aerial and conditioning, so everything supports the aerial and pole arts at Body and Pole. And we are really, we're blessed to have you here. She is, if not like the most popular uh, pole dancer to the everyday world. They might not know Woo! a damn thing about pole, but they know who the hell the code of pole is. Woo! so excited about all the events, Black Girls Poll and Delijah Franklin. We just are excited to keep pushing the envelope, keep growing, and keep supporting our athletes. I am standing next to Tammy Slickta. Tammy is also the founder of US Aerial. It's a professional competition based in Manhattan for aerialists in pole, silks, and lira. And we're also expanding to new and innovative apparatus. It's men and women. It's professional aerialists from all over the world, actually, are welcome to uh, compete. And Elijah Franklin, founder of Black Girls Pole, is our first women's pole champion. And did she win this year or last year? She won in 2014, in February of 2015, actually. Okay, cool. Next up, we have Elijah Franklin. You say that you don't care, but we made Profit organization to promote um, and raise the profile of aerial arts in America. So we're really trying to reach out to mainstream America and let them know how accessible pole dancing, silks, lira, how, how accessible all of this is. You can actually just walk in off the street and start pole dancing. Yes, you can. Yes, yes you, you can. can. You just have to start with intro to pole. <laughs> Black Girls Pole is about education and celebration. It's meant for everyone. We're not an exclusive type of entity. We're meant for the collective, 